Hey everyone, it's Zach from Zach Green's Reptiles. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, create a hide for an adult blood python. Uh, some people have questions about what to use. So this is kind of what I use, my method. Um, I don't do it for very many adults, only the ones that are a little bit more skittish than others. Uh, before we get, get going any further, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment below. Let me know what you think, any comments. I appreciate any feedback at all. And let's get started. All right, everyone, this is what I'm gonna be using for a hide. This is a kitty litter pan for a cat. Um, these work really, really well for some of the larger animals, uh, some adult females and males. And um, this one is just a, it's a, it's a jumbo size cat litter pan. It's 22 inches by 16 and a half by five and a half. It's pretty shallow. So when the animal goes in here, if they coil on top of themselves, they will hit the top of it. They'll hit the sides of it, and it'll, it'll do a really good job on making them feel, feel secure. Um, if you can, try to get a darker color than this, but this kind of matches the tubs that I have in there right now, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, let's get over to the table, and I'm gonna show you how I mark it and how I cut everything out. All right, so I'm gonna cut it on this large side right here. Um, this is how it's gonna sit inside the enclosure. That's gonna sit all the way towards the back. And uh, just because I want to be a little bit cautious on how it looks, I'm going to use just a big old thick can to mark the curvature of how this is going to sit inside the um, when I cut it out. So let's mark the outside of this can. Try to stay out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to go a little bit further down. There we go. So that is going to be the size of the opening. And let's take this, let's pull it all the way down, straight down, right here, and do the same thing on this side. All right, so that looks pretty good. That's gonna be our opening. So that's my little outline that I'm gonna to use to cut. I'm gonna use a soldering iron to do this. That way, um, has nice smooth edges. Um, you can also use a Dremel and you can use a saw, a whole saw if you want as well and just drill it out and then cut the sides down. So there's multiple different ways of doing it. This is just how I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's get outside and we'll get this done. All right guys, I'm gonna try to do this without getting in your way too much. Uh, got my soldering iron nice and hot. Got a moist paper towel. That way when I do get some plastic, residue, I can wipe it off. And then I also have a little nail file and we're gonna use that sandpaper on that nail file to um, clean up any, anything that we need to. All right, there we go. First, I am going to, I'm a lefty, so this is not very easy at this angle. Kind of mark it a little bit. Kind of give myself a little channel to cut through. Go. Just take my time on it. There's no reason to rush. There you go. And this isn't very thick, so this shouldn't take too long. Careful of the, the fumes, they can be toxic because it is melting plastic. Just go nice and slow. All right, I am getting a little bit of plastic residue, so just wipe that off. Keep going. Two. 
That's what I've gotten so far. And now as I get deeper into it, it keeps in that channel that I just created. A Dremel probably would have been a little bit easier to do this. I do have a couple that I'm going to do, so I'll probably do a Dremel as well in the next one and try to see. You just got to do whatever way works best for you. Making some progress. There we go, a little over halfway done. Just gotta get this side right here and we'll be finished. There we go, we got our cut out. And now we're just going to clean that up. All right, there you have it, a nice smooth cutout. It doesn't look the prettiest on the outside. That's probably because of the soldering iron. Um, if I would have used a Dremel, it probably would have been a bit smoother around here. But I used that um, sander to um, clean up any sharp edges. So it's very, no sharp edges anywhere around this. Make sure the animal just can't cut itself on anything. And a good size hide for an adult blood python. All right, guys, and there you have it. There's the hide inside the, the enclosure. Gosper's in there right now. He seems to like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me at Zach, Z-A-C-K, at zgreptiles.com. Or you can comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I'm on my Facebook and Instagram information is down below. And we'll see you next time.